And what do the private haulers do? You put them out of business? Well, the figures aren't correct because I pay eighty-three dollars per. That's, that's I pay eighty-three dollars instead of seventy-six. So there's nothing on there correct. Bill, we will continue out. This is the time. Here's the time that you guys can speak out again. Okay. This president of the commission chair for information only. Comments are limited to three minutes per person. We have another three minutes. Okay. Just the way we'll work it is raise your hand. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, acknowledge you. Um, Mary Ann, I'd like to introduce you to the Commission Chair, Mary Ann Hollis. Um, she's been here since 1,200 people already don't pay. I don't know if that was correct numbers or not, but that's what I read in the paper. Um, where does that balance in? I mean, that's a lot of money that's not going into the college if ready. And if you, if you remove the discounts from low income and vacant residents and, and discounts for people who are already paying, I mean, you put people out of business. But then more people, I would think, are going to stop paying entirely. And how does that figure in there with your money that you're anticipating possibly getting? I mean, I think you really need to balance in how many more people will stop paying entirely with, you know, what, what you're considering here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Discounts on private haulers. If you're going to take a move, those people have to quote active accounts. They'll be paying full amount. I calculated right now that by what we pay to our private haulers plus what we are paying is our fees. We're not getting by free here. Is we are paying. We will wind up paying double. We will wind up being mm -hmm. so. Essentially, you're going to be asking us to subsidize. Because those private callers are doing the service that we are paying for. We would have individually taken our product or our waste to, to the convenience station or to the landfill. We have asked a hauler to do that for us. And that is a service that we're double paying here. We would definitely be paying for service we are not getting if we continue to use that private caller and we continue to pay, then we are moved up to the active fee. This is, you know, just for your consideration when we start talking about fairness. Now, yes, we can do that. We can subsidize. Schwebox can subsidize. Is it right? What about the one who is on a single income, who cannot haul that, who needs a hauler? Is that right? I just think that needs to be thought about. Those haulers are helping a lot of people. Bernie yeah. Brister. Now, as I look at this, these figures are not correct. The amounts are not correct, and why you would put this up here in front of all of these people with fraudulent information on it is beyond me. Why our Torrance County manager is supporting the Estancia Valley Solid Waste Authority and not the citizens is another issue that I think should be addressed between the three commissioners. <clears throat> there are no 
no active figures here for the amount of money that's being made off of the tippings, which comes to approximately $900,000 in addition at $35 per two and a half tons. Which means the Estancia Valley Solid Waste Authority is making somewhere in the neighborhood of double the figures that are on this page and still trying to toss our discounts out on the ground. We have to go to a pay to use system according to state law. It's the only legal way that we can operate this system. Valencia does it, Sandoval does it, Bernalillo does it. It hasn't been an issue for them and they don't have problems like this. <clears throat> I'm just absolutely disgusted that you would put this up here with blatant little in missing information. $10 off of one fee, $5 off of another fee, $6 off of another fee, just to change those numbers enough where this looks viable. Why, why are you doing that? And that's all this, I have to say about that. This is gonna be discussion. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Let's go ahead and lies on pe on paper. Why? Why is that? That that is so un if we're in America. Not lies. If, you, if anybody wants to come in my office and look at my solid waste bill, I can make I can they're not lies. lies. We can these lies. These fees are not sure. are these fees right, Cody, Mr. Priester? No, they've no. all been dropped by about five or ten dollars, which changed the total amount. The actual yearly fee is two thirty nine and some change and so on so they just changed it enough to make it jump down and then excluded all all of the tipping so why is it why are you presenting some false information to to the people you represent why are you doing that this is this is not false information why are you doing that Ms. Ainsley? because i don't have false information why, why, what do you mean you don't believe there are facts there is truth So you are willing to present to the, the people of Torrance County this information. How dare you do that to us? How dare you? Oh, darn. Oh, well, I'm just real sorry, guys. I'm just very sorry that I am lying to all of you. Miss Ainsley, thank you very much. You, you just show yourself to be a very false presenter of information. We don't appreciate it. Do we appreciate that? No. 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 <laughs> lies, lies, lies. I don't think Michael Gowdy. I don't necessarily think that Joy's lying or not lying. I do think that Ellis lies. I think that when you're charging thirty dollars, seven dollars a tipping fee, he's selling short. He can make the books like he's making money. But eventually our children's children and maybe ourselves will see the Solid Waste Authority perhaps go bankrupt because of it. The other thing I'm going to mention is in terms of the municipalities, that the municipalities need to include the land grants. The, um, the uh, private hauler drives down 55 to Estancia through Puente de Agua, through a lot of the people who don't generate a lot of trash, who could benefit from having the trash in their front door rather than having to whip it over to the dump site, live in those places. And yet we have no, why do we have no? Because we're not municipalities according to the ordinance. Well, that's changed. We are municipalities. The demographics of Torrance County has changed over the time. The demographics has gone, yeah, the, the, the land grants in, the, in that area have gone down slightly. But Estancia is essentially, a, I mean, uh, is seen as essentially a ghost town. Yet it's a municipality. Basically, the ordinance may have worked sort of when it was created, but times have changed. Demographics. The, the definition of municipalities have changed. Land grants are now fortunately recognized. So, I think that the ordinance, yes, it needs to be changed, but you can't take an ordinance that might have worked years ago and make it worse and then expect it to work. So, you need to re-evaluate this whole thing and come up with something else. And a lot of times, people that are Look their stuff 
popular only use a quarter of a truckload or so. A lot of the, a lot of that would be easy to uh, figure out, you know. And again, you know, the discounts make sense because a lot of the elderly and a lot of these people who are veterans are not going to generate a lot of trucks anyway. So why are they paying for a, a pickup truck load of shit when they don't use it? And you know they well they don't use it. Thank you. Jones, and I asked Mr. Townsend if I could speak before him. Um, I just want to say, Lauren, uh, this is my daughter Lauren Jones right here. Lauren, um, th this is democracy in action. And, uh, I, I feel so proud that you're here today to watch what we do. Watch what I do. This is what I do. Um, and isn't it a beautiful thing um, that everyone can come in here with differing opinions? And everyone gets a chance to speak. And um, it, so, anyway, I'm very proud that you're here to see what your mom is. Also, um, uh, not to uh, defer from the, you know, what's going on, but um, <laughs> I live here in the county too. Um, I'm sure that you heard earlier in the meeting that my that my daughter Lauren Jones has been accepted to um, a very prestigious pre-college um, <coughs> science, technology, and medical program at Brown University. And um, at, as a member of the county, you know, I uh, I we don't have a lot of money, so yeah, I'm here schlepping for funds. <laughs> my daughter has been a straight A student since seventh grade. She goes to Estancia High School. She's um, number one, ranked number one in her class. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She's a member of the Business Professionals of America. She was a member of FFA. She's the manager of the basketball team. She's a member of the JV volleyball team. She's a member of cross country. And she was voted um, junior class homecoming princess. Um, she, and, and, and she is, is fabulous and special, but She's one example of the kids at Estancia and the kids at Moriarty and the kids at Mountaineer. We in Torrance County uh, can and do raise incredible kids. Um, sometimes people will tell me, how can you do that in a small town and in a, that's such a small school? No, um, it, it's, it's right there and she's a, she's a great example. So anyway, um, I'm trying to get her to Brown and um, if you uh, feel it in your heart to donate a buck, two bucks, there is no amount that is too small or too great. We will gladly take your money. Um, we set up a GoFund account for her, and it's uh, the little website is www.gofundme.com forward slash S3WFYUWC. And if you feel any kind of sympathy for me as a person who's taking the minutes for this meeting... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll consider throwing me a bone. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs> I, just want, I would just like to plead the case again, once again, for a private hallway to stay in business. I don't know if any of you belong to the electric co-op in Torrance County, but you can see where a municipality ends up costing quite a bit more than if there's fair market value. Um, that's it. I just don't want to see it turn into like the electric co-op where we're stuck, we have no choice, you want lights, you pay the bill. Or you go solar. And raising the prices on it already to the same amount that I'm paying for taxes is yeah. kind of ridiculous. Amen. I will stay late. It's Charlene Guthrie. I'm from Torrance County. Um, if you do go out for the RFP for the solid waste, I would like to see things written into it that that you put everything that Estancia Valley Solid Waste does and gets. Billing, payroll, benefits, retirement.
retirement, health, grants, federal grants, funding, state grant funding. I want everything that the men at the station do, I want it wrote in there that a private hauler is to pay for all roads that they tear up. I also want uh, all of this for what I pay right now, about $20.16 a month. Um, the presentation that you just hand this on the billing side that you take in-house, I don't think I agree with that at all. You will be losing three jobs over there and billing is more than just billing it out. That means payroll and everything else. I feel that the county don't need the billing back because they'll just stick it in the general fund and it will get lost. And then our transfer stations it will go down and more jobs will be lost. This is not about the office. This is about the transfer stations that do the service that these men get out and take care of you. It's a self-service that the county provides for us. <laughs> Just like every other county. Lincoln County, private hauler, guess what? They're going out for liens. That's what men are typing. They're going out for liens too. Every county goes out for liens. Like I explained, liens, whether you have it or not, you're still allowed to dump. The reason why is because they don't want to crash in the ditches anymore. Private owners, they'll take, if you don't pay, they don't pick your trash up. What are you going to do then? Just like the town of Mount Mayor, you don't pay your water bill, they take your trash can and they turn your water off. We stop here that for the $20.16 we're doing, whether you have to take it, it's self hauling This is in a rural county. We are not in Albuquerque where it's curbside pickup. The thing is this, I don't want trash in my yard. I have, a, I have the transfer station right behind me. I don't see any trash in my yard. What I do see when I drive into this town, on the day the private hauler picks up, all the lakes drying up and all the trash blowing out on a 60 mile an hour day wind. So that's what your poly park's going to do. And that's what they have the problem with the Rio Rancho, Rio and Oriva County. All the poly parts. They have to drag them down to the main highway because their trucks cannot get up onto the dirt roads because they're tore up and it costs them more. This is what you guys got to think of. You want the private hauler? Pay for the roads to get fixed. I'm not doing it on my taxes. That's right. And they don't get fixed. That's fine. They don't get fixed. They don't get fixed. They have nine guys and a budget. That's nothing. Thank you. John G again. Um, Joy, I know you do a good job. I hear all these things. I figures, it's like the roof analogy. If you're not performing a service, there's no labor, there's no cost of goods, there's nothing. The discount is the profit. It, it, it doesn't, what, this, 20 years ago or where, whenever it happened, we need, step, we need trash service, but what has happened here is we got a runaway horse, and when you have a runaway horse, you either put a bit in their mouth and control them, or get rid of that horse before somebody gets hurt. This is what's going on. Jim, please go. Commissioner Frost, please go. You look at these figures. Would you please check this out for yourself? Would you please, because I voted for you, I believe you have the same Christian values that I have, the same family and moral values. Protect us. Represent me. I don't care what they vote. I don't. I only am watching you. Please represent me.
through some of the conception of this idea, you know, going down the line, uh, there were a lot more pickup pickup sites. You know, there, we now have these strategically placed um, dump stations. But early on in the conception of this, there were a lot more dumpster sites throughout the county. You could go in lots of neighborhoods, and, and you know, you would see them strategically placed in neighborhoods. Uh, so. Perspective-wise, as I'm listening, I, I still believe there's a solution, that, you know, a, a logical solution to this problem. I, as a, as a taxpaying citizen, I want fast service. You know, this is nothing we're trying to walk away from. Um, I just ask that, you know, that we get the best bang for our buck, value. You know, um, we, we, I myself personally, were, you know, was able to take my trash um, within two or three miles of my home. You know, now I'm having to travel. 13, 14, 15 miles from that. So uh, all of the I'm, I'm gaining perspective. My, my job today was to come here and get informed, you know, um, aware of the process. Um, once again, I'll ask, please don't kick this can down the road. Do something, make the right choice, you know, do the right thing. Please don't kick this issue down, down the road any further. Uh, you know, uh, we need something. We need, we need, Someone said it earlier. We, there are there are bigger issues in this county that need attention, and uh, you know I, I pray, like John, you know, that something gets done. Thank you. My name is Lance Brown. Um, on I just got a comment on the private hauler um, aspect and turning up the roads. I've had a couple different private haulers at several locations. And every time there's been an issue, it's not been, you know, whether it's back up, you know, and damage something, it's never been an issue. The private hall has always stood up and fixed the driveway or fixed the, the damage of the done. So to be calling that, that's, that's crazy. Thank you. Bill Redas, Adventure James Cody, is here. You know, you have an ordinance in place, 94 is in, in place. Um, by doing nothing, the ordinance stays there. I would recommend that you take your time to do these changes. Like I said before, they look like they're for the benefit of Stancy Valley's own place. You know, they don't really benefit Torrance County. You, as Torrance County Commissioners, should look at what they're doing. Um, like I said, the ordinance is there. You don't have to do anything to get it. Nothing that needs to change, uh, but I would um, obviously, like Mr. Jones said, there's been some time years ago committees that put this stuff in place for a reason. Um, don't tarnish it by by going and making these drastic changes on the recommendation of the state's Dallas If you need to select a committee, I'm sure some of these citizens would be happy to to help advise. Uh, however, making these changes does not really benefit the citizens. Thank you. Right. My name is Cameron Green. I live in Monsanto. I didn't speak earlier because I was here, but like this gentleman before me, uh, trying to get information. The well, one thing I noticed was the court was put up on the board here. Uh, nothing was mentioned about the funds that come in as revenue from recycling metals, oil, some of the other things are being recycled. I know I worked the station for about five years, a number of stations from Manzano, Mountaineer, not Manzano, Punta de Agua, Mountaineer, sometimes it's not seen, sometimes more yardage. And I used to ask many times for the office to give me small six yard containers to separate the metals. All of the metals were being put into one big container, a 40 yard. Now that includes copper, <coughs> aluminum, and just rough hard metals. I know in the stations that I work, I could have probably generated more copper and more aluminum income every month. Now, what I saw in one of the annual reports, I think it was in 2007 or 8 when I left the company, when I retired. And I saw that the total income from, or revenue from, uh, uh, what am I talking about, recyclables, was $2,000 for the year. I said, that's crazy. If I had a sick yard, I could have filled up with aluminum every month. And the construction was going on. Now, granted, the construction is down now from what it was when I was working. But for two thousand dollars recyclable income for the year, for an operation like this, I suspect they could have been generating a hundred thousand dollars a year. 
But I think what was happening was it was all being lumped together in one big steel bin, and somebody was benefiting. I don't know who, whoever was getting that steel bin full of recyclable metal. Was probably sorting out the copper and the aluminum and anything else that had any real value. I just want to bring that to the attention so you don't think that just the tipping fees and just the amount that's paid every time it's built, but think of the recyclables. Oil, we, at that time we get like 90 cents a, a pound or something like that for the oil. And that included uh, hydraulic oils, oil spin engines, and so on. So just think about the other sources that were being buried or covered up and never showing up any place. Thank you very much. I wanted to make a comment about what George Hewitt, Edwina, sorry again. Um, Steve Jones said how those folks worked together to make this ordinance. That's, that's true, but this is not the same ordinance that we started out with. That, that was barely a page, the original one, and it's mushroomed and it's changed over time. So it's not the same thing that we started out with. So I hope you'll keep that in mind, and it would be nice if you looked at that historically. Um, as far as for the numbers that Joy presented, I'm going to take up for Joy just a little bit. Joy presented what was given to her to present from that committee. And, you know, I would like, if it would be possible, if you guys would, would be uh, uh, amenable to it, the, the, the sheet that was handed out, would it be possible to put how those numbers came to be, the formulas, the math, the whatever, to show how those numbers came into total so that people could understand that a little better? I think that would help make your point better. Um, but, you know, people stand up here and they're angry, and I'm one. I mean, I backed off for over a year and a half. I haven't been down here hounding you guys. I wanted to take that step back, and I wanted to look at this building and the people in this building to get beyond my anger points and try to come to a better understanding. And in my heart of hearts, I think everybody in this building tries to do the best they possibly can. I think that... Um, the thing that's lacking is everybody's on the defensive all the time. And, you know, j human nature, I can be angry today, and I could still talk to you, and we could still come to a meeting of the ways on any issue. We won't necessarily agree, but we could ad agree to disagree and move forward. And I think that's the biggest problem that I'm seeing with our group down here right now is there's a wall between you and us. And people like me, yeah, I understand the wall, because I've been in your faces. And I'm not ashamed of doing that, but you know, there's got to be some forgiveness points on both sides. And it would be awesome if you would listen to people and actually talk to them and take their input. These people out here are intelligent human beings, whether they're college educated or school of hard knocks. You have got such an incredible resource in this county everywhere you look, yet it seems like they continue to be ignored. So I think you guys could do a, a much better job if you let your hair down a little bit and include people. Include people in your meetings. Get information. Joyce, Joyce comes up here and gets crucified because she presents a summary sheet with no backup. It, it really wasn't quite fair that she got crucified for that. I, you know, I'm taking up for you, Joy. That wasn't right. Seriously. You know, give us information. Julia, uh, one thing I really liked about Julia since she's hit this commission, she wants to inform us. We want to understand what you're doing. You have that lovely website. Pepper it with information. You could put copies of contracts, anything else you want up there. It's all flipping public information anyway. Instead of telling somebody, go over here and pay a buck a page, or go pay 25 bucks a disc to the assessor's office, open it up for us. Let us help you. Thanks.
trash tax thing is the cost of it. I bought my place in 2008, and the cost of it is nearly doubled in that short time. Yeah. It's absurd. It's wrong. <coughs> Morally, ethically, and legally. Yeah. You need to read the Constitution maybe two or three times. I did. I found the answers. That's why I'm here today. I said my piece, and I thank you for listening. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, 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 second.